So we have to express two consecutive percent changes as a single change. So if we start with a quantity and we increase it by 25% and then decrease it by 8%, can we express this as a single change? And if so, what percent of a change would that be? I have this bad habit of usually solving a problem twice, but this time I'm going to solve it three times. And it's going to be a little bit boring, but if you bear with me, I think it's going to make your time worth. And it might be a little bit out of ideas because the starting quantity wasn't given. So when that happens, maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. So then let's just make up one. Suppose we make up, say, 2,000. And so here's the plan. We're going to first increase 2,000 by 25%, and then we get a number. And that number, we're going to decrease by 8%. And we're going to get this final number. And then, these are all type 1 problems. Then, we're just going to look at from 2000 straight to this final number and ask ourselves what percent of a change is that. That's going to be a type 2 problem. OK. So first, the 25% increase would be, we would have to, it's, a, it's the most straightforward basic percentage question. What is 25% of 2000? Well, that's. Uh, 25 over 100. I hope we all know that this is a quarter, right? If we simplify it, uh, we get 1 over 4. And 1 fourth of 2,000 is just 500. So we went from 2,000 to, well, not 500. That was just the increase. We went to 2,500. So this intermediary number is 2,500. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to decrease it by 8%. So we're going to compute 8% of 2,500, and that's 8 over 100 times 2,500. So the hundreds cancel out just like that. So that's 200. So what does that mean? 8% of 2,500 is 200. So this is the loss. So we are, where we're down from 2,500 to 2,300, right? That's just a net increase of 300. <clears throat> so we're going to be able to answer the question if we just answer this change, 300, is what percent of 2,000? So this is a very basic type 2 question. Is this fraction times of? In this case, clearly 300 is the is number. The fraction is asked in percent form, and the of number is 2,000. Is equals fraction times of becomes 300 equals to x times 2,000. We're going to solve for x by dividing both sides by, two, by 2,000. And we should try to get this fraction um, to a denominator of 100, which doesn't seem to be difficult. If we can cut off one zero, we could do the next one, but we need 100 in the denominator. So we have 30 over 200. So if we divide upstairs and downstairs by 2, we get 15 over 100, and that's 15%. So the two changes, 25 up and 8 down, combine into a 15% increase. Now, second time around, the idea is going to be the same. We're going to start with 2,000, and then we're going to increase it by 25%, and then decrease it by 8%, and compare the final result to 2,000. However, we're going to be a little bit more clever with these computations. First, 2,000 up 25%. What we're going to do is instead of computing 25% and add, we're just going to say, OK, what is 125% of 2,000? Right, because that's what happens. When you compute 25% of a number and you add it to that same original number, you're just making 125% of it, because the number is 100% of itself. So we start with 100, we increase by 25, that's 125. And this is a type 1, so the most straightforward way probably is we turn 125% into decimal. So this is a basic type 1. So 1.25 times 2,000. Yep, that is the 2,500. OK. And next, again, instead of computing 8% and subtracting that 8%, let's just go to what is 92% of 2,500. So that's 0 0.92 times. So we got 2,300 back. OK. So we're doing the same thing, it's just the methods we're using are a little bit more sophisticated. So now, here is the type 2 question, and we're going to use this trick. So we're not going to bother with the subtracting. We want to know 2300 is what percentage of 200? 
instead of asking the change, we're just going to ask the final condition. What percent is that of 2,000? So the question is 2,300, right? Going straight from 2,000 to 2,300, what percent of a change is that? So is, so is, is fraction times of, and then we solve for x. And remember, uh, trying to get the denominator to be 100. So we can easily get to 200. And so we just need to divide 230 by 2. That's 115. So what did we get? So what did we get? We got that the final condition, 2300, is 115% of 2000. Maybe I write it down. But 2000 itself is 100% of itself. So if we went from 2000 to 2030, that means that in percentage, we went from 100 to 115. That's a 15% increase. Notice that this cut down not only on the writing, but the computation, just one multiplication, another multiplication, and then one division. So it was much less work using this shortcut. So now you suffer through two methods of solving this problem. So here's the third one. Well, they didn't give us a quantity, so instead of making up a number, by the way, think about what would be the best number to start with. What would have been an easier number than 2,000? Okay, so let's call it Q. How do we very quickly increase a quantity by 25%? Well, let's just take 125% of it. That's the same as multiplying the quantity by the number 1.25, right? And then this number was then decreased by 8%. Well, what was the quickest way to, f to decrease by 8%? By computing 92% of that. So multiply. So the original quantity was Q. After 25% after increase, it's 1.25 Q. And then we decrease that by 8%. So we punch this in. So 0 0.92 times 1.25 is the same as 1.15. So the two increases took Q, to, took this quantity from Q to 1.15 Q. But that means that that means it's a 15% increase. What happened? There is a quantity. We're going to take it's 125%. And when we're done, we're going to take it's 92%. And then we're left with this. This is the entire computation. Of course, we will have to understand that this is not 11 and a half or something like that. We have to be able to interpret that this, this one means 100%, and so we are talking about an increase, it's 15%. So it's this much, this much work, but you have to understand where these three numbers come from. That's just a quick example. Say we have a 40% increase and then say a 30% decrease. Let's start with a quantity. Let's increase it by 40%, and then let's decrease it by 30%. That would mean that we are left with 70%. And so when we multiply this out, we get 0 0.98. So that means that a 40% increase and a 30% decrease is the same as losing 2%. So it's much quicker this way. Thank you for watching.